Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do a Witch Baby Soap haul. This is a pretty small haul. Um, didn't get a whole lot of... Didn't get a whole lot of stuff. But what I did get, I'm really, really excited about. I got a lot of jarred items. But let's start off with a Throwback Thursday item. So every Thursday, Witch Baby Soap posts on their Facebook that they make like one or two items that are limited edition that... They make one batch of, for Throwback Thursday, of products that they used to have, and it's really, really cool. And this bath bomb, I was placing an order anyway, and I'm like, you know what, these look really, really cool. So these are the Free Bird Bath Bomb. So they're red, white, and blue. Free Bird Bath Bomb. And it's leather and honey, I believe. And it smells really, really good. And all her products are vegan and vegetarian, cruelty-free, everything, so I don't know what... I guess it's just a leather fragrance that she uses. I'm not sure. But I picked up two of these because I always like one to try and then one to save. I don't know. I mean, I'll obviously use it. but So I picked up two of those to see what they're like. And I got a couple soaps. I really like Witch Baby soaps. I like how they last. They don't last that long. Like if you use them every day to wash your whole body, it's probably last like two weeks. They're very affordable though. And it's good because I like to change up the fragrance. So I got Love, which is a... Um, apple blossom i believe and rose it smells so good or apples and roses it's just super floral i have it in the body scrub so i wanted to get a uh, soap in it and it has poppy seeds on the top for exfoliation then i got the blood and milk soap i've been wanting this soap for a while but it kept um it kept selling out on the website like it was still sold out so it looks like this and this guy is blood orange and coconut milk and it's just very it's I don't get a whole lot of the orange. I get mostly coconut milk, so it's like a sweet, sweet smell. I really like that. Then I got the go go the gossip stopper. No, it says sample soap on here, but it is not the sample soap. So you can see it's like it's gonna be hard to see. You see that it's like blue glittery, and this is like a cinnamon vanilla. It smells really, really yummy. I really like that. Then I picked up three body butters and a scrub. So let's start with the scrub. I got the Graveyard Body Scrub. Flowers, dirt, and coffin satin. I've talked about this scent before. It smells like a freshly dug grave. Um, the body scrub was sold out all the time. It's like ultra rich, frothy, foamy scrub. So I wanted to pick this guy up and it came back on the website. That was the whole reason why I placed this order. And then she also restocked the Graveyard Body Butter. Now this is the Thick Whip Body Butters. I prefer the Thick Whip to the Air Whip now that I've tried the Thick Whip. It just melts a lot better into the skin. As you can see, this is like extremely thick, like extremely thick, but it goes right in and it melts right in quicker than the um, oil-based or the um, air whipped, which is like a marshmallow. And you wouldn't think that the marshmallow texture would take longer to absorb than the thick whip. So I'm gonna stick with the thick whip. And this is like dual color too, if you can see, really cool. Then I picked up the Love Body Butter, which is the Apples, Roses, and Magic. And it smells like apples and roses. And this guy is filled to the top. There's no room for air there. And then, like I said, this is going to be a quick video. The last one is the Moon Body Butter, the September Moon Edition, which is the Pumpkin Spice or Caramel Latte. I can't remember exactly. Is it Caramel Latte? Salted Caramel Body Butter, yes. And this guy has a moonstone in it. I loved it. It was um, the Autumn Spell Box, the um, moon, or the moon, the like coffee cup bath bomb, the pumpkin bath bomb. I love that. And that's the same smell. And it does have a stone in there, but it's the thick whip too. Mmm, that smells so good. It smells equally of salt and caramel. Now, the hit of the order, I already got to try one because I wanted to try it and review it on here are the bath potions. Oh my god, these are amazing. So I got the Spirit Bath Potion, which is Butterscotch Maple October. The Spirit is a warm, comforting blend of butterscotch, maple, and vanilla that transports you to late autumn. There are many types of witches, but the holiday season is when the kitchen witch arrives, or thrives. This bath potion is an ode to the kitchen witchery and the spirit of autumn. The spirit includes a skin-nourishing autumnal blend of juicy ripe apples, jack-o'-lanterns, rustic squash, and whole mums. Pour three to four capfuls of potion into the warm running bath water, because bubbles, 
and soak in the aroma of magical, most magical season of the year. So this is a bath potion. These are 20 bucks. It's a big jar, and it's like um, Epsom salts. You can see one of the mums in there. And I just use like a teaspoon, and I pour out like three spoonfuls because the cap full, it's kind of hard. This is very shallow, so you really can't like pour it and it doesn't work that well so i scooped i did three to four i think i did four teaspoons in the bath as it's running just like a lush bubble bar and then it bubbles up it's really really softening it's not like a luxurious huge bubble bath but it's just the right amount of bubbles i really like it the first ingredient is magnesium epsom salts this is really detoxifying really good for sore muscles and this one smells like maple syrup pumpkins all that sweet sweet fall stuff so i got this i really like those and then this one is the daughter bath potion vision power and protection looks like this uh, i really hold on i have to sneeze maybe not we are the daughters of the witches you weren't able to burn this feminine and powerful visionary pear scented blend is devil's claw angelica butcher's broom dragon's blood hops flower and elderberry It smells just like fresh pears, like straight up fresh pear juice. It smells really good. And as you can see, it's like super solid and like it's not moving. I really like this. These are really, really cool. And like I said, this was $20 too. So when the bath potions do um, come back on the website, definitely try one. I do want Queen of the Damned, which is like a black currant or um, black cherry Merlot type of smell. If they come in bath potions, I'm going to pick up two because it smells amazing and that scent has not come out for a long time, so I'm really excited. I'm getting a little sniffly. I think it was from smelling all that stuff um, with the dust and stuff. But it was just a quick little video. Um, I hope you guys are having a happy Friday and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!